Hi everybody, welcome to All Sorts, and while you're waiting for the absolutely amazing series of videos where I go to every single station on the tube line, on a certain tube line, I thought I'd just fill you in with a bit of a fun quick one for today. I'll try to keep it under 20 minutes of my train and bus ticket collection, because I thought you'd love that. So, let's start with a bit of a funny one. I will do this in chronological order. Um, and in regional order as well later, but let's just start with a funny one, because I think you're going to love this. Look at that. Special delivery, £500. So, a quick a quick story about this ticket, actually. So, I, I got it in um, the post. You know, when you order a ticket um, online, I actually got it from London North Eastern. It wasn't a London North Eastern ticket, it was a great western ticket but you can still buy them from that website um oh yeah so where was i oh yeah so um uh it was a um great western um ticket i think i was going to swansea or um cardiff i was going to cardiff okay so it's a paddington but we ordered it a few days before um and it just came in a little pouch london northeastern pouch um and Inside the pouch, and I'm not going to show you the pouch because that would be a bit off topic, that's probably for another video, but inside the pouch there was my ticket, a receipt, and then there was this. And I just thought that was so funny. Um, yeah, I just thought that was fascinating. So I just kept it, and I think it's really funny. I am just covering the address here because it did have the address on. But how about that for a little bit of humour to start the video? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so next, um, I'm just going to start going through them in regional order now. Um, I said I'd do chronological, but I think it's going to be a bit more interesting if I do regional order. So... Let's start with the receipt, actually. Just get warm up. Just warm up. Okay. So, this is indeed... I know what you're thinking. Wow, that's amazing. Um, this is indeed a Thameslink. A whole Thameslink logo, you see. They still haven't updated that. It's really disappointing. GTR, I need to get that fixed. Anyway, I was at Blackfriars. And I got this ticket to, from Frinsbury Park to Huntingdon. And I got it from the Blackfriars ticket office. Just a sneaky oyster zone thing. But, um, yeah, they just gave me this receipt for it. And I think it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool receipt, really. I mean, you could probably fortunately do something with this receipt now that I've showed you it. But, yeah. I think it, it's pretty cool. It's not really a receipt, is it? More of a, a card verification thing. But, um... I thought that was pretty funny, so I just start start the collection off with that, really. <laughs> right. Next, let's see if I can find. Um, I'm just gonna see. I've got quite a lot of tickets. So I'm just gonna see if I can find it. Um. Oh. Yep. Um. Right. So. Here is a ticket. Now, as you can see, it says child up there because I got a child ticket for this. Um, and thirteen pounds forty. It is the receipt that you saw before. It's the same ticket. Um, Huntingdon to Finsbury Park, and I got the other ticket the other way. Don't know if I kept that one. Um, it might have been swallowed up by the ticket machine. Um, just looking through now to check if I have it. Um, uh, no, I don't, sorry, but I have the two of the, the two part return, I have the second part of it. Um, so you can see it was in September, um, not valid by London terminals, that's why it's cheaper. Um, and yeah, I just thought this is a this is just a, a journey I had on Thames Link, um, one hour, 11 minutes or something, pretty long, but got what I wanted in the end. And actually, since we're 
doing this journey, let's go to the next part of the journey, which is a bus ticket. Now, this is one of two bus tickets I'm going to show you because, well, let's be honest, the other one is um, the, uh, it's very special, the other one really, but this is a stagecoach in the fens um, ticket, uh, and before I've just been showing you standard railway tickets really, but this is a stagecoach one, and it's got a bit of humour on the back really, don't just take the bus, take the wheel. Um, so it's, I think it's a recruitment campaign. It's really funny, <laughs> and they just have some nice information on the on the f uh, back of it, the ticket there. I mean, I think that's just really nice to have. Um, and yeah, so three pounds forty, Huntingdon Station, RAF Witten. You know where I went. Um, it was it's quite a lot compared to the free journey in London. I mean. It's three hundred and forty percent more, I think. I mean, uh, it's, it's three pounds forty more than the um, journey, anyway. But yeah, it's it's a lot, I think, for a bus. But it was a good bus, you know. It came on time. It's a return, so yeah, it's okay. And the driver was friendly and everything. Um, but yeah, stagecoach in the fence, the busway, Route B. Um, and I don't, yeah, Route B, I mean, you can see all of this on the ticket, um, hopefully you can read, you've read it all now, um, Child Return again, Child Ticket, but yeah, that's one of two bus tickets. Next, let's do a bit of a funny one, um, so I'm just going to move some other tickets around, there we are, okay. So this is an advance ticket. I think it was collected at the station, I think. Now, Liverpool Lime Street to uh, London Euston. Don't get confused, that's not Liverpool Street in um London. It is the one in Birmingham, I think. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. It's not in Bur is it Manchester? Okay, I think it's in Birmingham, Liverpool Lime Street, someone can tell me that. I'm sure they will. Um to London Euston. So this is an adult ticket. Um, not my personal ticket. Thirty-eight fifty. You are paying quite a lot. Virgin West Coast still got the franchise, even though the London North Eastern little situation there. Uh -huh. But yeah, um, essentially, I mean, I don't have a lot to say about this one because um, it's just a bit. I, I wasn't even on that journey. It's someone else I know. But um, I guess we can look at some other tickets, really. Uh, maybe I think it was in New Newcastle. I think it is Newcastle. Or Man no, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's all to say, really. Yeah, printed. There we are. Little cheeky close up for you. Bit of my fingernail in there. Nice. All right. Uh, next one. Oh, gonna keep that one to the end. Sorry, just saw something there. Really interesting. You'll love it. Um, let's. Oh, I think I, I lied about the bus ticket situation, but they're specials for the end. Um, oh, let's let's get this one out of the way. Basically, I forgot my I forgot my zip card one time, so I had to buy a day travel card. Uh, from Hernhill, I mean, it says six pounds thirty. Very expensive. Sorry for forgetting my travel card. I, and my um zip card, my oyster, and then if you just want to see where it's printed, this is just the standard format. There we are. You can see the National Rail printed in the background. Might have not noticed that unless you'd really studied tickets before, so that might excite some people. Um, valid for bin zones one six. Uh, I think that's all you can get from that. Yeah, it's not a pink travel card ticket, unfortunately. I don't have one of those to show you today, although I have had them in the past. Because it was from a National Rail station, they didn't have a nice pink ticket. But you win something new some, don't you? Okay, next one. Um, uh, shall we? Yeah, okay. So, remember about that time I was saying we're going to Wales. 
um, pretty funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, the time I went to Cardiff, um, I think that time, uh, I also went to Abergavenny, to Newport, and I bought myself a ticket then. Now you're thinking, that cost twenty ninety five. Sorry, I made a mistake. I went from Abergavenny to London Paddington, so that's why it's twenty ninety five. Um, but I obviously got from Abergavenny to Newport and then changed. So I believe it trains Wales and uh, Great Western Railway. Um, so this is just a collection receipt again because I bought it online. Um, London North Eastern again. I bought it from, and then I collected it at the ticket machine. Um, so, yeah, issuing office, Abergavenny, you know, selling office, if you want to just look up a date there, if you're interested, quite early in the morning. I mean, not early for some people, but early. Yep. And then anything else? 3rd of August. <sighs> Summer holidays. <laughs> yeah. Really, I think that's all I have to say. Um, should we do? Should we do another one next? I think we should. Right, let's just go. This is an oldie, and what excites me about this is it's been punched. I don't see that too often anymore. But this is um on Great Northern and Abilio. Great Anglia, and on, oh, I remember that day we went on a East Midlands train, <laughs> really funny, but you can see more of those maquettes from that day on Rail UK if you just hit the, that follow button on Instagram, but um, yeah, off peak return, child, £10.10, mm, expensive I think, but yeah, is that good? There we are. Um, yeah, really, that's, I don't really have to say, have much to say about that one, but, um, it was a, it was a long journey, <laughs> lots of DMUs, obviously, to Cambridge, um, it was a EMU, class 377, I think, S uh, Electrostar, something like that, um, and then it was a DMU to Norwich, have you ever been to Norwich? Write down in the comments below, but, yeah. Um, valid by only permitted route, yeah. I was from, uh, King's Cross, the train that we got. Um, they didn't have a direct train from London to Norwich running from Liverpool Street, so that's, that explains why. Um, yeah, family and friends rail cards. And if you just want to look in that corner, as we do. There we go. Right, next. Talking of journeys out, um, let's throw in a bit of, a, a little bit of summer holidays kind of vibes. Obviously this wasn't in the summer holidays if you just look in the date over there. But I'm just trying to think of a way I can bring this one in really. Um, so Luton Airport to Elstree and Boreham Wood. A pretty funny ticket actually because you'd be thinking why are you stopping at Elstree and Boreham Wood so obviously this is Thames Link um so basically what happened was I was like we can't pay for a journey all the way back to South London um so I thought Elstree and Boreham Wood the first station in Thames Link on the Oyster Zone we might get away with it if the ticket inspector comes there um, in, if a ticket inspector just comes in between those two points, we'll be fine. And I didn't even think there would be a ticket inspector. I mean, they don't really have ticket inspectors on those Class 700s now on Thames Link trains, but, I mean, they, they still do occasionally. But we were fine. We got away with it. And it cost us less. It cost us only 6.95. And then you can see it was late. The plane was delayed. The train was delayed. It was a terrible journey, but... We got a slightly cheaper ticket than we would have. This is adult. Um, the child one is somewhere, but it's the same thing. It will just be slightly cheaper. But yeah. Okay. 
Next, and I have a lot of these tickets, not a particularly interesting ticket, but there's a good story behind it. Sorry. Um, so, my oyster cracked, it broke, my zip card, and I had to just buy tickets every day. Um, they were £3.80. So I had to buy a return ticket every day. Now, none of the terminals is a bit misleading on this one because it's actually Black, Black Fries, but Black Fries is considered a London terminal for ticketing purposes. But yeah, it's total to Black Fries. I had to buy four of them. Do the math, six pounds, sixteen pounds, twenty or something. It was quite expensive. But yeah, so I did have a lot of these tickets, and I just kept one. Otherwise, there would be a lot of tickets to show you. Um, but yeah, so I had eight of these tickets since you get two coupons with each return that you buy. Day of travel. See when it's bought in the corner there. It's interesting to see the different formats used, but all printed on the same ticket. I mean, most of them are the same, but slight. Some of them are slightly different, but yeah. Child, there's not much else to show you on that one. Bit of a boring one, but it has a story behind it. Oh, right, what should we do next? Um, obviously, all the London journeys on the tube and stuff, I usually use my Oyster when it's not broken, so... You're not seeing any of those. Should we should we go there? Just thinking, really. Let me just have a, a waddle through all the things to make sure I'm not missing out any other ones before I get to the exciting ones. Um yep, they do get more exciting from here. I know you think can they get more exciting? Yes they can. Um let me just check. No. Let's go. So Actually, let's do these ones. Showing you the back first. Now, if you look closely, you can see dot .at Austria. Yeah, this is an Austrian ticket. I think it's an Austrian bus ticket. Or a tram ticket, I'm not sure. I can't remember, but... I was on this train, so it's not like, um, no, it was a train, it's a train, it's a train, yeah, I remember now, yeah, um, yeah, a little bit of a different one, um, but I just think it's something a bit interesting, just throw that in there, um, I haven't got a lot to say about it, just look and, nice ticket actually, you can see that kind of flash effect in, on the eye, on the very edge of the ticket there, some a bit of a silver, into there. Nice ticket, very European, <laughs> not like our British ones, but yeah, it's alright. And look at the little code. It has been put into the ticket validator. If you don't know in Europe, usually they have ticket validators at stations, they don't have any gates, but you need to put that into the ticket validator to validate your journey. Don't really understand why, why can't they just have ticket gates, but yeah, that's how it works. And um, yeah, this was in, um, near, or it says where, Bol Bolzano or Innsbruck, yeah. So this is in Austria, where it's close to Italy, um, on the border, really. Right, next one is also, I think this is a German ticket, this one. Also, nice, nice silver in the corner there, on the side. I don't think that this one is... Maybe it is Austrian. Ooh, maybe this is a voucher. Alright, I think this might be a voucher for travelling on some kind of rail. Or it might not even be anything to do with trains, but I think it is. So, it's a nice ticket. Sorry, this is a bit random. Um, obviously, European trains aren't my expertise, so forgive me on this one. But, okay. Now, on to the one that you will be waiting for. This is the final lot of tickets. 
Let's place them at the back there. That one just at this spit. Yeah, let's just um, place them all at the back. All busted, exciting. Um, so basically, what I just showed you. Sorry about that. Was this. Bromby South to Chatham. Okay. Now, the first thing to know about this is I wanted to get Swanley to Chatham because that would be cheaper, but the lady at the ticket office wouldn't let me because she didn't trust that I'd get off the train, then I'd tap out, wait for the next train, and then get the train from Swanley to Chatham. So she said, No, you have to get it from West Island. And I said, No, I'm not paying for that. You have no right to refuse me that ticket anyway, so let's make a compromise upon myself. She said, yes, the train was coming in a minute, so she just needed to get on with it. And then at the end, she had the cheek to tell me, um, actually, you need to leave more time next time. And I thought that was absolutely unacceptable, because she had actually made me buy a more expensive ticket, that I didn't, she didn't need to make me buy that. And it had taken ages when we were arguing about it. And if she had just sold me the ticket, they would have, not been one minute till the train came. Anyway, a bit stressful, but it was fine. So, yeah, under 16 miles, standard class, refundable exchange for a fee. £6.30 would have been like £5 something, but because she made us come, it's quite annoying. Um, yep. Yeah. 15th of September, relatively recently. Outward, off peak day return. Okay, not valid on South Easton High Speed, couldn't afford that. But yeah. So, Bromley South to Chatham, I got the train from West Dulwich to Bromley South, and then I got the train from Bromley South to Chatham, but I did buy this ticket at West Dulwich. And in return, I kept both of these because it was an exciting journey. Let's just look at that in the corner. train was coming at 10.55 just to give you an idea of the urgency child obviously right now how that I like this one this is where it gets interesting this is the second leg of the journey whoa a bus ticket yeah so I'm just going to reveal this one bit by bit £3.20 all cheaper and it the journey was an hour instead of like 15 minutes and it was a lot cheaper than, or 20p cheaper than Stagecoach in the Fens, Child Return, Star Hill, Rochester, okay, so that's Rochester Station basically, to Lapwing Road Grain, yes, I went to the Isle of Grain, so we got the bus, never got cancelled, that ticket thing, Arriba Bus, yep. Yeah. This is just, I love this, uh, because, it, I mean, apart from the journey, it was an amazing journey going through the middle of nowhere on a bus. 191, route 191, you can see, let's just point that out to you there. Yep. It was a little bit late, that bus, but yeah. Anyway... The thing I like about it is the old Reva logo freshly printed on top because they haven't updated their systems. Similar to that Kenton receipt I showed you earlier. Uh, old Reva logo. New one in the background. Can you see that? In the background, can you see that Reva logo and that A? All throughout the roll. In the background, do you see? Now that's just fascinating, and that's a moment in history that won't last for very long, because they'll update their systems, and then it will all be a Reva new logo, new logo, and then it'll be the new new logo as well in the background, like it is now. But yeah, that's just a moment in history that I find completely fascinating, and it comes with some vouchers on the back, a lot more than Stagecoach Go Ahead do in the fence. I mean Stagecoach in the fence, sorry. But... Yeah, what can I say? If you want these vouchers, hit me up. Yeah, that's all the tickets I've got for you today, guys. Um, I could show you more, but we're actually running over time now. I said I tried to keep this video over 
under 20 minutes, but I haven't. But, um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, comment if you got this far, okay? Just say, I got this far. Because that will really impress me. Because if you got this far, you must be so, so sad. Goodbye.